so this next section is about um, sort of, it's sort of like an interlude between <laughs> the last section about uh, securing your name and, uh, well, picking your name. And then, so this section is about securing it. <laughs> where we go from here is we have to be in a place to where we collect every single property that belongs to us as musicians. And so with my name being Wordplay TJ, like I said before, you I want to go to Twitter, I want to go to Facebook, I want to go to Instagram, I want to go to Snapchat, I want to go to YouTube, I want to be able to find myself on every single platform that there is out there and plant my page. Like I, you gotta lay that foundation. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is people are gonna creep in, they're gonna steal a, a username that is familiar to you, and then you're gonna have some you're gonna have some issues. You're either gonna have to pay to take that from somebody, or you know you might luck up and they they'll give it to you willingly. But in order to protect yourself, you want to think about trademark. Um, trademark is a legal process where you take the image of your name and you take the actual spelling of your name and you submit it to the government and they protect it against uh, duplication from other uh, other entities. So if somebody was to go out and make a Wordplay TJ t-shirt, then I'm protected under trademark law that nobody can really go in and take that take that 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 mark that trade mark <laughs> you know basically and so i say secure the name because in the long run you want to think about ownership ownership is what you have in order to make your dollars from your brand and you don't want somebody else to make dollars from your brand you want to make uh, all the dollars from your brand and not have somebody kind of siphoning off your brand and getting rich based off of the fact that uh, they use your name. That's not cool. That's not that's not kosher in the least bit. And that starts to impede on your wealth and your family's wealth. And so it's important to protect your name and, and get that trademark done. So while I'm here and talking about um, having that brand image, I'll go ahead and talk about the next part, which is your image. Um, a lot of the times when I work with other musicians and other brands, um, I will first think about like if their name is secured, if their um, if their name is trademarked, if they um, have music out or something like that, I will first look at all their social media pages and see if they have a consistent look. And so what I'm about to explain to you is something that you can do uh, in a realistic way. And so you can kind of start this process if you already have a lot of the pieces in, in mind. Mind you that we haven't put out a single piece of music just yet. And that's later on down the road. Um, the faster you work, the faster you can get to putting out the music, but having these pieces in, in place are very important to building your brand because, like I said, you want to maintain that consistency. So what it means to have a consistent image is to have a look that appears uh, within your point of view, but it appears on every single page that you own. So whether it be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, your website, um, YouTube, like being able to see those images all across the board. And so I'll give you an example with mine. So on my website, I have a dog now. On my website is, uh, on my website are images of my latest album. And my latest album is what I used in order to create a consistent look across the board. And so that is very, very, very important that you brand and market that look all over the place. It does two things. Number one, it makes you look very professional. It makes people take you more seriously, but it also promotes the last project that you put out. And so, if you want to be in a situation where that gets the message out, you have to do that by putting out a consistent image across the board. So the web, the, the image on my website or the images on my website 
look like the images on Twitter. They look like the images on Facebook. They look like the images on um, YouTube and Instagram. And all across the web, no matter where my properties lie, I try to keep every single image consistent. So that comes from the profile picture to the, the, the cover or header that's at the top of uh, every screen. It's even across on, on SoundCloud. So I purposefully made all of these images the same. So like I said, people take me seriously when they come across my work. I know that I talked about subjectivity and that's not really all that important when it comes to people liking or disliking your work. But what is important is when people are hooked in by your music, they come across what your image looks like, they start to see you in a, a higher regard. They start to take your music and your effort and your craftsmanship seriously. And so that's the idea and that's the thing that you want to convey. You want to convey that seriousness because this is serious to you you do want to make music long term and you do want to make money from your music and quite honestly packaging is a part of that that whole entire thing like you don't go to the store and look on the shelf and pick the thing that doesn't have any packaging around it like when you go to the store and you pick up your favorite thing you expect to see some type of packaging you expect to know what's in the box and that's part of this this branding opportunity is people want to kind of know what's in the box and so they get an idea of who i am from the photography and then i just repeat that across the board so so there you have it that is that is how you start the process of building your brand and making sure that there's a consistent image across the board and now is the fun part now you get to get discovered and so we're going to talk about placement in the next section and we're going to get into that in the next group of videos. Placement is a big, big part of getting heard out here on the on, on the web and getting paid and monetizing your platform. So go ahead, get ready to get placed. Hey, I want to say thank you for watching this video and I appreciate it if you watched it all the way to the end. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification for new videos and also if you would like some one-on-one -on -one help. I know everybody's situation is different. Go ahead and hit my PayPal link and you can purchase an hour of consultation with me one-on-one. -on -one. We'll talk about what you're trying to achieve with your music career and how to best monetize that. So until the next video, peace.